It's the HodgePodge launch party. The final chapter. Do we want to do one more question, Marco? Before I have a question. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I'm interested in your your model, if you could talk about that at all for publishing. And my question is if you plan to publish books as well or pamphlets or zines or anything along those lines. So this is for the collective? Yeah. I, um, I'll take that one if that's okay. Yes, please. Um, I, I've been looking at the, I, the answer is at least uh, it, it's an issue that we've raised in, in the, in the coming into this issue as we, as we rode the first issue was like crazy. Let's, let's, let's do a literary magazine. And, you know, we had to fake everything and figure it out and build a magazine. And the second one was building on that one um, and was an exponential leap forward. And this one is, like three exponential leaps forward. So that's something we'll be looking at in the future. I've been looking at the print on demand models and I've done some print on demand for other projects. So the answer is it's, we're gonna to continue to grow. And yes, that's probably some aspect of what the future growth will be, but we're not there yet. Okay, thanks. But I think it's, but I think it's a great idea. Jeff, what would you like to see? I would like to see, um... I don't know, for me, but this doesn't have to do with you guys, um, like local stuff, like for, for me, like Cleveland based, because most, uh, you know, everybody opens up to everyone, but I think there's a need for localized publishing, even, you know, handouts where I could go to a, a coffee shop and see, a, a, anybody could see a stack of um, magazine, you know, poetry magazines or stories, art, whatever. So that's kind of what I would like to see, but that's not quite in line with what you guys are doing. Yeah, and that's that's like a, that's like a, a great toss back to the '60s that Javier was talking mm -hmm. about, and the '70s where everybody, including um, little hippie freaks like me, were doing. Uh, you know, just rags and, and broadsheets. We were basically doing broadsheets and stapling them together. And yeah, you'd huck them out at coffee shops or you'd huck them out at poetry slams or wherever. And unfortunately, um, because of the plethora of online everything, that has really kicked uh, really kicked the ass of, of that old school, like underground indie journalism thing. And it's made it really yeah. hard for people. So, but I told, I totally get what you're saying. Cause th those were the days like in Seattle, you'd grab the, the rocket and it was before the rocket was anything. It was just like, it was like eight folded broadsheets and it was so much fun because yeah, it was just like there and people would write crazy stuff and there'd be just like be slammed together on a spur of the moment. And it was really organic, but yeah. Something and that's one thing we're doing in Cleveland. Um, with our group, Poetry Free Cleveland, we're writing poems on the street, with typewriters for people, anybody, that's and just so cool. giving them. And people are really, as soon as you set up, within a minute, we're flooded with people. People are really fascinated by that. And they love that personal interaction and the immediacy of it, and a physical product. So. Yeah, I mean, and something that it's it's not the physical product, but something that I think we're talking about a lot is this issue of being small. And that there's things that you can do small that you can't do when you get larger and that we want to be able to know one another and to you know have our meetings be personable and and um and to not have to go into full you know so that we're spending so much time doing things like social media you know we want to spend the bulk of our time writing um and there's a trade-off when you get too big so that's been another part of um our conversation and and sort of the benefits of keeping things in a little bit of some constraints i appreciate i appreciate that you guys decided to do it you know it's kind of like let's do a show in the barn i'm really <laughs> it's, it's not exactly a, a show in the barn 
<laughs> it's gotten to be so, so shishi and so exclusive and so this and so that. And, and it, oh, you can't, don't even try to have a career if you don't have an MFA. And, you know, it just, just goes on and on. And, you know, and it, it's just, I, I think it's time. It, I, I, was, I was doing, I was doing everything in the 60s and 70s too. So uh, it was a really wonderfully wild open time and you could just do it. You know, we put on a major show in San Francisco and, and did a show in the band shell. And later I read an article about seven years later about, we couldn't believe we let those people do that. <laughs> and I just feel like we need to do, we need to break all this open again. And, and you know, the, the publishing companies, the publishing world, the five big ones have just had everybody in a stranglehold. And uh, writers especially have been real like, uh, you know, indie indie music broke out a long time ago. We'll make our own CD, but but it's only been recently that that, our, that writers are going, hey, we can do that too. You know, because I had a, I had this young woman MFA tell me, oh, I could never self publish. It would be the end of my career as a writer. And I went, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I just really am, am glad you guys are doing this, and I applaud it. And uh, it's going to be fun to see what happens. And I hope I can remain connected with you guys. Yeah, for sure. Good. We're hoping to stay connected with everyone. Yeah. I think we're going to we're going to wrap things up. Okay. Well, um it it's been a lot of fun celebrating together and celebrating the launch which is hugely successful by our tiny bit of the literary world measure. And I'm going off script. I really want to again say personally and as a collective Thanks to each and every one of you. And each and every one of you should be very proud of this issue and your contribution to it because it's a stellar issue. The numbers are supporting that. And I am so proud to be a part of it. And I'm so humbled by all of your efforts. So really, I, I don't have the words to tell you how much I personally appreciate it and how much I'm sure the collective appreciates it as well. Um, it, it's just... It's incredible. So um, Gail and I put together each a quote about collaboration to sign off with. And Gail is going to go first. This is a quote by Amit Ray. Collaboration has no hierarchy. The sun collaborates with soil to bring flowers on the earth. Thanks, Gail. And mine is by Charles Darwin, believe it or not, because this one just resonated with me. And here's the quote. It is the long history of humankind and animal kind too, that those who learn to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. Thank you, everyone. It was a really, really lovely afternoon. Thank you, guest artists. Thank you, guest writers. Thank you, audience members. Please spread the word about the issue. Um, we're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And I'm going to add the social media thing, which is also off script. If anybody has video or they want to do another reading or they just want to talk about creativity, anything, I don't care what it is, do a raw video, send it to me, send it to Gail. Gail will get it to me. I'll make a movie out of it. I'll post it on YouTube. I'll post it on Facebook. I'll post it on Instagram. You'll get a chance to say, you could talk about the writing process. You could talk about your story. You can do another reading doesn't matter whatever you feel comfortable doing i will make sure it gets up on social media and i'll make sure you look as as good as you could possibly look and keep an eye out for volume two issue two coming out in january of next year which is not that far off fantastic everyone thank you so much thank you appreciate thank you. your time thank you you guys rock bye you can grab your very own copy of HodgePodge at BookFunnel. Downloads are safe and secure. Check out the link right up there on your screen.